Hey everybody, so look on the screen. Deadly Dusty. $80,000 reward. I will turn him in for free. I hope someone does the right thing. And it wouldn't surprise me that he, he may have help. So as if you saw the first video, Part A, and I also read about it, they said in that particular area, it is not uncommon for people to shoot their guns on a regular basis. That's what I read on Yahoo, um, which still makes no sense to me just to shoot their guns. But that may be a cultural thing. I think it's a thing of ignorance. So they have a baby next door trying to sleep. And they said they went over there peacefully. Went over there peacefully to ask him, hey, would you mind not shooting that gun? We have a baby trying to sleep. And look, a gun could ricochet. And plus the fool is drunk. It's my property. Do what I want to do. You don't own the land. There are rules. So he walks over there with an AR-15, shoots the wife on the porch, and goes inside. Now five people are dead. But this trash is here. And what you want to bet, I would not be surprised. Somebody's helping him out. My thing is, get to the border. Uh, he might try to cross the border, go to Mexico. That wouldn't surprise me at all. People do commit crimes. They showed one. I mean, they talk about determination. They reported there was a nine-year-old. There was a nine-year-old kid, and he had been sent back. I was like, "Well, how was this happening?" A child. They say he he's been back here five times. Get over here, sent back. Get over here, sent. Back. How was that even possible? So, if a kid can do that, of course, I'm I'm assuming with help. You think he can't? I'm gonna do what I. It's my property. What the hell? Bullets ricochet. I wish what they would have done would just call the police. Hate to say it. Some people you cannot communicate with. They are like savage animals. Like this on the screen. That's how I see him as a savage animal. Your mama should have used her birth control. I wish what they would have done. Say nothing. Just call 911 and report what he's doing. Then that way... If the police had come out there and they maybe want to try to avoid that being neighbors, I totally get it. By him being drunk, man, he, he put a weapon. Well, you know what's going to happen. They're not playing around with you. And people say, oh, well, if, and I can see the people saying the flip side, well, if he would have called 911 on his neighbor, then he would have got out. He would have done something I hate to say regardless. But in this case here, I wish they would have called 911 first. That way, by him being drunk, and having that weapon, the police could have maybe handled it. You know what I'm saying? We could have avoided this here. Not to say that, hey, he may come back later and retaliate. That is possible. But this is a world that we live in. I just wish that call now and just let them know, hey, he's out here shooting, just shooting up a gun. So if he wants to act crazy and pull it on him, trust and believe, they would have taken him down Texas style. You're going to learn today. This just shows you how people are just stupid, crazy, and I'm sorry, they're evil and demonic. This makes no sense. He, they asked him, they said peacefully in the article. He went over there. He was, there were no threat to him. Just maybe stop shooting. Again, next time, just call 911. Be one and done. Now he's on the loose. What you're running for? As Neely Fuller says, yo, stand by your word. I don't understand that. These guys are so tough. I mean, he, this he, he this this savage has killed five people. And the women were trying to protect their children. Dusties bring drama, death, heartache, whew, and trauma. The financial implications. So now... They're young. If not life insurance, more than likely the GoFundMe's will be will be will be applicable here. GoFundMe's for the funerals. People got to start having come to the funeral. Someone has to go ahead and take care of the children. One man, his wife is killed, so he'll be a single dad. Children left without their mothers family members now the man on his own 
all look all the tax look what this one dusty has cost his evil behind all the taxpayers dollars all those officers out there dispatched to try to find him. he's killed five people they gotta find him that's the financial implication the go find me stuff funerals people having to travel take off work then let alone the emotional and physical toll knowing your loved one is dead the financial implications is too much dust in the nation. I can imagine how do you even stay in that home? How? How do you even stay in that home? I don't see how. The memories are too bad. B bodies. They have got to find him again. I would say they, they should start searching the border because he may try to sneak across the border to get out and then sneak back in. And don't be surprised. Oh, me, oh, I'm ready. They're going to take care of him. Somebody will help him. That's people are that evil. That's their loved one. Well, he didn't mean to do it, but he did it. Even though he's killed five people, I wouldn't be surprised. Somebody help. Help hold him out. You think he's sitting somewhere in the wilderness? They can get those dogs out there. I would not be surprised that someone knows what he did and let him in. And he probably slept in their home, eating their food. That's how evil people are today. They will, they will, they will hold up that evil dust bucket. This is war without a car. It didn't have to be. If you want to shoot, go to a shooting range, fool. This is my property. You just can't just start shooting indiscriminately. But this is a society that we're in. And then, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if some of his family members come out. And they'll try to paint him as, oh, he was just having a bad day. He didn't mean it. Anybody that is aiding this man and helping him, that person uh, should definitely be considered uh, an accomplice. Aiding and abetting, obstruction of justice charge. They, I don't care if his, if it's his grand, great grandmama, if it's his grandpappy, anybody that's housing this animal, this criminal, based on what he's done, they should be held accountable. Give him ten years minimum. Mm hmm. Oh, he been staying over here with his grandmother, his cousin, got a girlfriend. Give him all ten years. They knew he was there. What he did. It's been on the news. They should all face 10 years minimum for aiding and abetting. And I think it needs, I, I just think like the one that killed, shot the five ladies in Atlanta at the hospital there, the same thing here. Some people, you have to face it, they just want to kill people. The least little thing. Oh, the men at the hospital, Grady Hospital, he became agitated, shot five women, one dead. This right here, they asked him to uh, stop shooting his gun as a, a baby was trying to sleep. Ask him peacefully. And what does he do? Get his AR-15 over there and shoot them all. They just asked you to stop shooting. And with that liquor in him, I think it gave him the courage to do what he wanted to do. People like to make excuses for dusty, evil behavior. But he wanted to do that. They say alcohol, people get all gassed up. It'll bring out people say things. That's their truth. They say bad things, evil things. They're speaking their truth. The alcohol has given him the courage, call what liquid courage. So that gun right there, he bought it. He probably been waiting to use it. And it may not be the first time. He might have come over here as an immigrant, illegal immigrant. We don't know. Doing that in some other country. Alcohol could be the truth serum quite often. So this here, a simple request. He did what he wanted to do. That was in his heart to do it. Why is a demon, demonic spirit? That's how I see it. Anyway, $80,000 reward. Someone should tell the truth, even if there was no reward to do the right thing. But I would not be surprised he's getting some help. Dust, if you notice in all cultures, Dusties can get help somewhere, somehow. In all cultures, I don't know why people sympathize with dusty behavior. So lives lost, young people. This is a, a child. Young people 
lives lost all because some fool was shooting his gun and they asked him not to because the baby was sleeping and a simple request no threat a simple request he obviously in my opinion had murder on his mind it's not warranted you can't justify it murder on his mind as i said before said again people are what people are doing what they want to do good bad right or wrong dumb as heck all day long this thing on this screen look at this evil looking eyes oh my god i hope they catch him the thing on the screen he's doing what he wants to do and to think that somebody could be helping him it tells you a lot about people it tells you a lot about society Anyway, I'm looking forward to an update where they have captured him. And if they don't capture him alive, if they can take him out, that's fine with me. Sometimes you need to get what you give. Anyway, thanks for watching, people. Uh, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And let me know your thoughts on the matter. This is a dangerous society. And there is a lot of evil out there. A simple request to stop shooting in a neighborhood because an infant is trying to sleep and it makes you wonder for him to go off on this tangent it would just be a matter of time um he probably would have done this just a matter of time somebody look at him wrong pull out that gun man i hope they catch him please make a false move on the texas pd please please make a move I hope they handle up accordingly, and I'm out.